In this figure, we have a trapezoid with the lower base of 29 units, the height of 12 units, one angle of 54 degrees, and another angle of 63 degrees. Using this information, we need to find the area of this trapezoid. A trapezoid is a quadrilateral with two parallel sides. In the trapezoid to the right, one of these sides is side A and the other one is side B. Side A is the lower base of the trapezoid and side B is the upper base. Then, if we know the lower base A, the upper base B and the height H, we can find the area using this formula. A equals H divided by 2 multiplied by the sum of A and B. Now, in the given trapezoid, we have the lower base and the height, but we are not given the upper base. So, before we find the area, first we will need to find the upper base. Let's call this trapezoid A, B, C, and D. Also, let this point be point E. Then, because the height is perpendicular to the base, here to the left, the triangle AED is a right triangle. Now, from point C, we will draw another perpendicular to the base and let this point be point F. Then here to the right, the triangle BFC is another right triangle. Then in the middle, we have a rectangle formed and the upper base DC has the same length as the line segment EF. Now, to find EF, first we will find AE and FB and we will subtract them from 29 units. To find AE, we will use trigonometry. In this right triangle, we are given an angle and the opposite side and we need to find the adjacent side. So, to find this adjacent side, we will use the tangent function. Here to the right, we will write that tangent of 54 degrees equals the opposite side 12 divided by the adjacent side AE. From here, AE equals 12 divided by tangent of 54 degrees. Then we will use a calculator and we will get that AE is approximately 8.72 units. Now, in the right triangle to the right, we also have an angle and the opposite side and we have to find the adjacent side. Then again, we will use the tangent function and we will write that tangent of 63 degrees equals the opposite side 12 divided by the adjacent side FB. Then FB equals 12 divided by tangent of 63 degrees. Then again, we will use the calculator and we will get that FB is approximately 6.11 units. And now, once we know AE and FB, we will find EF by subtracting AE and FB from 29. So, EF equals 29 minus 8.72 and minus 6.11. Then, EF is equal to 14.17 units. Then, because DC is equal to EF, we can say that DC is also 14.17 units. And now, we have the lower base, the upper base, and the height, and we can find the area. Then, the area equals the height 12 divided by 2 multiplied by the sum of 29 and 14.17. Then the area will be equal to 259.02 square units. So we found the area and now the problem is completed. I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe, leave a comment and thank you for watching.